this is David Schmucker, Sidewalk Dog Training, and I wanted to spend just a couple of minutes showing you how to put the leash in a proper loop, and then actually how to put it on the dog and where it needs to be placed on the dog's neck. So this is the string collar, or the show collar. It's a very simple collar. It's nylon. It's very, very strong regardless of its length. And we need to turn this into a loop so we can get it over the dog's head. So what you do is simply bend a ring down and then push one end of the material through the loop and now we've got the perfect loop. And of course the leash end is going to be right here. So we've got a couple of things here to demonstrate for you. Uh, as you know my dog Tessie usually does the work with me but I gave her the day off so we've got a little friend here. Uh, who I can show you how to actually use this collar. Now let's say we want to put this dog on our right side. We clearly want to be putting this loop such that this curved part at the top goes over the back of the neck so that when we pull or correct the dog or pull or whatever we need to do it will pull across the top of the neck. You see how my leash is over here And you see now this is the proper way that I'd be walking this dog on the right. So any correction would just mostly be hitting over here where my finger is. It's not pulling under the neck right here. Now look, if I just take and leave everything exactly the way it is, and now just switch hands and put the dog over on my left with the collar put there, you'll see now that the collar is going under the neck first so that any pulling that I do is now in more of a choking arrangement. So there is an up and a down to this collar. So again, you can put the collar on and when you look down at the dog you can see where it goes across the top of the neck over the far side of the neck over here and that's a straight line from your leash. In order to change it, it's simply a matter of flipping it over. So I'm going to take it over, and I'm just going to flip it over and put it back on. Easy boy. <laughs> and now this one is set up for the left hand. You see, now I put it over here on my left, and here the collar is for the left. Again, the exact same situation. Here's the leash. It's going straight through over the back of the neck and then under the throat here. So we simply don't want to be ever in a situation where we're pulling or snapping and we're not hitting this muscle for the most part. We don't want to be going down here. Okay. The second issue that I see a lot is the placement of this collar. Now the dog has most of its power muscles in its, le in its neck right along here. And of course when they're, when they're connected here they can drive you all the way through their back legs. Well, if you keep this collar up right in a groove where the head meets the neck and you will find that groove going all the way around, just like that you'll find that the dog cannot engage their back legs. And so this is where you have the maximum control, is when this collar is up high. Now the dog is basically top heavy and cannot use their power in their back legs. So you can easily turn them left, right, whatever you want to do when it's in this position. If you hear some choking or gagging or something of that nature, it means this front edge here has slipped down onto the throat. So don't feel bad, just fix it. So you just hook it underneath and slide it back up underneath the neck like that and keep it up nice and high. Now when you're walking the dog, if I'm a person right here, we want the dog to be at your knee or behind. Any correction then would be a straight pull up like this, which would not cause this collar to move. It would stay in the exact same position. If the dog drifts behind you and you want to correct, again, a pop would move the dog up 
to your knee here. There's only one time, regardless of the coat that your dog has, where this collar will naturally slip down and you don't want it to slip down, and that is if the dog moves ahead of you and now you find yourself pulling back like this. Well, of course, when I do that, we're back into the power and we're back into the gag. So the way you correct that is usually just to stop, get everything put back where it belongs, dog's nose to your knee, and start off again. So it's going straight down off of your leg. The way you prevent it is at any point where the dog's moving forward, correct them as quickly as you can and move them back. Because if you, you can still pull straight up when the dog's just a couple of inches too far forward, and then you can move them back. All right. So I hope that helps. I'm David Schmucker, Sidewalk Dog Training.